The gentleman reserves. The gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm happy to yield two minutes to the gentleman from Colorado, a distinguished member of the Rules Committee, Mr. Neguse. The gentleman is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the chairman from yielding. You know, my colleagues on the other side of the aisle talk a big game about deficit reduction. When they used the same parliamentary procedure, budget reconciliation, when they were in power and in control of this majority, they blew a $2 trillion hole in the deficit. House Democrats here today, putting people over politics, have put a bill on the floor that would reduce the deficit by billions of dollars. And apparently that's not enough for my colleagues on the other side of the aisle. This bill will lower costs, it will create better paying jobs for the American people, and it will invest in climate action and the existential threat of our time facing my constituents in Colorado. Since 1982, Colorado has experienced natural disaster after natural disaster that has cost our state over $55 billion, including the most destructive fire in the history of my state just this past December. It is time for us to take this climate crisis seriously. And that's exactly what this bill does. Through investments in R&D, through investments in energy storage, and battery technology, and so much more to enable our transition to a clean energy future. I'm proud to support this bill because I believe it delivers for the American people, and I certainly urge my colleagues to support it as well. And with that, Mr. Speaker, I yield back.